Email 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.6, number 45. And here we were asked to expand this binomial. And it's binomial because you got one term here, one term here, so two terms, so a binomial. Um, we weren't explicitly told the power here, or I should say technically the exponent, which is fine. Um, but they said, hey, if you want to match this up, right, we want one of the terms in that expansion. And they're going to tell me n choose k was equivalent to 7 choose two, and what that's telling me here is that my n value, you can see them matching up, n is gonna be seven, okay? So that's gonna be a seven. And I want technically, even though it says two here, you want technically the third term. And that might seem a little odd, but you have to remember that when we're doing the binomial expansion, the first coefficient would be seven choose zero, then seven choose one, then seven choose two. So this is the first term, this is the second term, and this is the third term. So we're actually getting the third term in this binomial expansion, and it says it follows this format. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna put a seven here, a two here, a seven here, a two here, a two here, my a is 5x and my b is 3y. Now I'm going to erase all of this because there's just a lot of junk on, on my screen right now. So let's start matching this up. All right, and that's where I start to do this in this step here. So here we go. n is going to be 7, right? So you see me putting a 7 there, 7 there. All right, and then I'll do red. So k is 2. So you see me putting a 2 here. Oops, excuse me. 2 here, or k here, k here two here, two here. In terms of my a, I have a being 5x, so that's where you see the 5x. And then in terms of b, I have b is equivalent to positive 3y, so I put positive 3y there. I crunch 7 choose 2 on my calculator, it's 21. And then I've got 5x to the fifth, 3y squared, and once I start expanding all of that, and collecting like terms, or I should say multiplying the coefficients, and, and then I've got my powers on x and y, there's my solution. And just one thing to check always at the end, see these two powers? They add up to seven, and they should always add up to your n value. So just taking a look at that, I'm good to go. All right, so here's my final answer, and that's number 45. Thanks so much, bye.